So in this video, we're gonna make this case, put the Raspberry Pi 4 inside. What's so great is A comes with the right power supply, USB type C. So all you need is the Pi 4 board, and then you get a fan. You get heat sinks, three of them, one for the ethernet uh, memory and CPU. Um, and then it's a fully encompassed case with some nice cooling, compact. Overall, I'm liking it. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and step by step show you how I got to this step here. We're also gonna do a quick sound test on the fan at high speed, and then we're gonna go ahead and run some benchmarks where we max out the CPU and just take the temperatures on this board. All right, welcome back. This is one of the first Raspberry Pi 4 cases, S-M-R-A-Z-A. -A. I've used their cases in the past. I think what they did is just a slight modification. Um, I believe, yeah, so this one comes with everything, including the heat sinks and the power supply. It is a clear acrylic with some kind of striped lines in it. I'll show you that in just a second here. You do have a little fan with it as well. And then there's the case. Oh wow, it's already kind of built for me, which is cool. A um, couple things before we get started. Well, first off, here's everything. You've got four, three heat sinks, fan, power supply, which is USB type C. So for the Raspberry Pi, it does have a switch. And then if you're wondering, it is uh, 3000 MA at five volts. A couple of words of caution before we get started. Number one is always take out your micro SD card out of your Pi because otherwise you can run into problems later with it breaking off. Um, the other thing too with these cases, the thing I don't actually like about them, when I t I'm gonna take this off really quick. The other tip I wanted to tell you about is when you take this apart, you'll notice that there's some pieces in here that are very fragile because this is acrylic. The other thing is there's, there's tape I need to pull off this to make it actually look good. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the screws and I'm gonna take off the top plate really quick, just so you can see inside, that all these little, see like that piece right there, there's, I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling these off. But like this piece right here, very fragile. This is the biggest downside to these cases, is these pieces of plastic break, and it ruins the entire case. So whatever you do, be very cautious when you're working with this case. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it all stacked up perfectly here. The couple things I do need to do though, is on these bottom pieces, they probably have, yeah, on the bottom there, they have a thing of plastic on it. And what you might wanna do actually is wait till the end to pull this off, but then you gotta cut around the screws. I'm just gonna take it off now. I'm not that big of a fingerprint person, but if you hate fingerprints, you may want to pull this off at the end. But man, I would say one pro to this kit is in the past, you had to remove all the plastic on all those little pieces. That's when you break stuff. So good on them for making it so. So this is the bottom, right? Micro SD card goes towards the back. So I think we're good there. Miss a spot. Okay. See, like I said, you can probably rip it around the screws. And then the top piece, you need to take off the, um, the sticker on the top. So what we need to do now is add the heat sinks to our Pi 4 and then mount the fan and then mount it into the, into the case. So, oh, interesting. All the heat sinks are at the top now. So it's just one there, one there, and then one here. So those are the three. Those are the three heat sinks you're gonna want to use. So let's just go ahead and start putting those on. We now have our three heat sinks on the board. We can get rid of that. Now the fan, you can either have the fan blowing in or out of the case. I'm gonna have it blow in just because it has heat sinks on it and that cold air will help the heat sink stay cool. Um, if you wanna blow the air out to get the hot air out of the case, you could try that as well. So I'm gonna have the logo facing down, so you won't be able to see the logo. And you're going to want to use the screws, the shorter ones. And then just go ahead and mount this. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount the four screws for the fan. And they give you an extra screw just in case you lose one. Nice. All right, we now have our fan on. So let's just start from the bottom. 
there's our bottom and uh, oh it's not saying to put the screws in first so that's fine so you got one I'm gonna go ahead and flip this upside down we've got two they're saying three so I'm just grabbing this and going backwards three okay now it's the pie so they say put the pie in after this step right here after the one third plate we want to put the pie in okay make sure your pie is in SD card out the back it's kind of funky for now um, but I'm hoping that it'll fix once we start doing it next piece see this we want to be really careful with the heat sinks and everything okay we got the next one and then we flip the next one Oh, they said to put the heat sinks on now. So those of you who are watching this, Drew Tox did it too soon. They want to do it at that step. You put the heat sinks on. I don't think it personally matters. All right, heat sinks are on. Keep going. Clear, then black, and then clear again, and then clear again. Okay, we're getting there. And then black, and then this is where they say mount the fan. And then this is the step where I would mount, make sure you plug in the fan. So we now have the fan mounted already. And then um, you have two options with the fan with the GPIOs here. They're saying if you want it high speed versus low speed, I'm gonna go ahead and go high speed with the higher voltage, just because let's see how cool we can get this thing. And I don't really care about the noise. A lot of you probably shouldn't care about the noise if it's like in a cabinet or something. Okay, so let's go ahead and go red and then black, and then we'll install the fan. So red with the GPIOs facing us on the row closest to the camera, on the bottom right corner of the GPIOs, we're gonna skip the first one. The second one to the right is gonna be red, and the third one from the right is gonna be black, okay? All right, and then your GPIOs are still exposed. And then now we just gotta screw it in. They work backwards. I kinda think like you should just have this, I'm a little concerned that they didn't have the screws in there already. Now that I'm doing this, I would probably approach this a little differently and put the screws in first. I get that that's kinda hard though, is to put all the screws in and then mount it backwards, but here you go, I got one screw in. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over just to get all these screws in really quick. Don't force anything. Like I said, this is plastic. That's why the case is so cheap. You know, it's not, it's gonna work just fine, but plastic can break, especially on these smaller pieces. Um, so now I flipped it over, back over, and now you just kind of push down on this last plate. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and finish this. Tighten it up. Tighten up, put the micro SD card back in. All right, all done. So there you have it. At the bottom, nice ventilation there. You can get to micro SD card really easily. The screws are on the bottom. You could probably use that to wall mount as well. You have a little cutting cut open here to run a ribbon cable through, or you have the top here where you can also run a ribbon through the top, display port, camera port on the side here. You still have access to all your USBs. You still have access to USB type C. There's a little cutout here. There's a cutout here for these as well. So the shielding, it's good that it's protected from the shielding, I like that a lot. Sometimes if you have a heavily shielded cable, these cases get in the way. Um, on the, this side you have the micro SD card, and then here's a view from the top. So here it is on my cell phone. The fan is running on high. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's not a showstopper. You know, it's just a clean case, comes with that U, the USB Type-C power supply, I'm running a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter, um, 32 gigabyte SD card, that's about it. And we're just gonna go ahead and run some tests right now. The fan is actually incredibly quiet. 
Um, some of these fans get louder as they age or as they're on. I'll let you know if that happens during these tests. But so far, very quiet, especially on high. So here it is on my cell phone. The fan is running on high. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, it's not a showstopper. You know, it's just a clean case. Comes with that U, the USB Type C power supply. I'm running a micro HDMI to HDMI adapter, um, 32 gigabyte SD card. That's about it. And we're just gonna go ahead and run some tests right now. The fan is actually incredibly quiet. Um, some of these fans get louder as they age or as they're on. I'll let you know if that happens during these tests. But so far, very quiet, especially on high. Yeah, you can see. Look at that. But it's lowering back down. So plenty good cooling. As I mentioned, if you see my past videos, it'll go up to 60 to 70 without a heat sink and without a fan. This is plenty good. Let's keep running these tests. It's heating up, but nothing crazy. And then it goes back down. One more. So we get it up to 50, but then back down to 48, 47. So maybe if you keep going, 51, 52, but that is significantly cooler. And it is a case you can get for Raspberry Pi 4 to shelter it as well. So there you have it. There's the case. Overall, I'm happy with it. It's very inexpensive, especially when you consider you get the heat sinks and the power supply with it. Um, so really cheap, inexpensive. It's fine. It's going to keep the, case, the, the Pi 4 nice and cool. There is more extreme coolers, but for the average user, this is plenty good. The other thing is this protects the Pi as well, dropping and if you transport as well. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.